are improper. These are bad. These are bad. All right? So let me not emphasize because greed has been mentioned again and we've mentioned it before. Those are things that we are supposed to leave. Obscenity of every kind, impurity of any kind. Let it not be mentioned amongst us as people of God. Hallelujah. We are assured that as to as such as live that kind of life, to those people who live that kind of life, there's an assurance, if you continue down there, that there is no immoral person who will inherit the kingdom of God. Let me ask you, people of God, what benefit will it be if you attend church faithfully and you are living immoral life and then eventually miss to go to heaven? What will it benefit you? Of what importance will it be being faithful in, in the physical, in the appearances in church? And Because when we appear here, we look at ourselves, all of us, we look good people. That's why we address people of God, holy people, lift up holy hands and all that. And then you know, down in your heart, in your dark life, you are doing bad things. Because there is no shortcut. You cannot be in church and then do immoral things and then think, because you come to church, you'll go to heaven. If you go, you do the immoral things, we were in hour. You are you. Five verse five. I want us to read there. Five verse five. For this, you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person. Such a person as an idolater has an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with any kind of words. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. My prayer for us this morning is that we may live true to God that we may walk according to the word of God, that we may forsake all those things that have been mentioned before and live for God. Paul tells the church, since we are no longer in darkness, since we gave our lives to Christ, since now we are living according to the, to, to the calling we received, and now we are the children of light, let us walk according to the light of God. Let us walk according to the way the word of God tells us. And these are the things we ought to do, to, I mean, sorry, hey, to do. These are the things we are ought to, to do. Hallelujah. Truthfully. Speak truthfully. Verse 25. 4 verse 25. You are supposed to, you are supposed to speak truthfully. How many times have you lied? Especially on phone. I insist. Especially on phone. Ah, niko tu hapa tao. Niko hapa, nimefika ba, nimefika. And you know very well, you are still in your sitting room with your feet on top of the table, watching television and pressing the remote. Especially those guys who ride motorbikes. Okay, there's none here. We sin so much. Lying. Speak truthfully as a child of light. Work to earn. I think I mentioned that. Verse 28, 4 verse 28. Work to earn something useful. Something that you may share with those people in need. So that means it is not godly to beg so much. And yet you have hands. You are able to do something. Do not just stay idle. I want to speak against these people who, who stay idle and not do anything at all, at all, at all. You can even just, if somebody gives you 5,000 shillings, go and farm somewhere. Go and do something. Go and buy masks and sell. You are doing something with your hands that you may earn something. That is the word of God. So no kweli. Work and earn something. Even to share with those in need. I say talk only what is helpful and uh, benefits uh, the listeners. Be kind and compassionate. 4 verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to people. If there are people in need, please be compassionate. Don't just, don't have a heart that is metallic. Hmm? You look at somebody who is, like I saw some people posting some pictures of a person who was being killed online. I wonder, when you are recording somebody being killed, you are there watching. That means you are there when that person was being killed because you recorded. And then now you watch, you watch, you enjoy watching. And then now you say, hey, let me share this with my friends. And then now you share online. What kind of a heart is that? Be kind and compassionate. 4 verse 32 again, forgive. Forgive people. Let me not emphasize on that because you've said so much. Live in love. Live in love with people. Be thankful in all circumstances. When something has been done to you, or even without nothing being done to you, just give thanks to God because even of life. Because you are alive. Because by the way, even uh, uh, being here this morning, 
is a great reason to give thanks to God. You slept and you woke up. People are dying of coronavirus. You've, you've not contracted the coronavirus. Give thanks to God. Have you traveled from your home to at least town and came back? You are vulnerable to coronavirus. Do you know that? As long as you left your home and then went outside and then came back, you were vulnerable. You, you had chances to receive. Oh, sorry, not receive. This is something you receive. You contract. Eh? You had chances to contract the virus, but you didn't. Give thanks to God. Amen? A child of light, a child of God, is a child who gives thanks to him. The above that things that I've listed so fast, eh? I didn't say that because time is gone, are things that we are supposed to do as Christians. We ought to exhibit that kind of life, a life that is, uh, that is true in righteousness, a life that we only talk things that are helpful, not things that um, uh, are bad, a life that is of kindness and compassion, a life that is of forgiveness, a life that is of love, and a life of thankful people is the kind of life we need to live. In chapter 5, verse 8 to 14, the Bible says, and actually emphasizes, it just repeats the same things we've said. It, you know, in the Bible, when something is repeated, it's an emphasis. It actually tells you about how you're supposed to do that kind of thing. And maybe how you are also vulnerable into not doing those things. That's why it's emphasized. Hmm? So an emphasis is made on how we are supposed to live as the children of light. In, number one, goodness. Kowema. Goodness. In righteousness and in truth. Paul tells us as the children of light that we ought to be wise. If we read that part of scripture, that be wise. Not unwise. Be wise. And being wise means you make the most of every opportunity. Making the most of every opportunity in serving God. Making the most of opportunity in doing what is good. As I said before, we are saved by grace. Yes, we are saved by grace. But being saved by grace does not mean there's nothing you are supposed to do. You are saved and then you are called unto good works. Good works. So, matendo mema lazima uyafanya. You must do the good works. Good works are the things that we have mentioned above there in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to understand the Lord's will. And how do we understand the Lord's will? You can only understand the Lord's will when you are a faithful student of the word of God. When you study the word of God keenly and if you give yourself and give your attention into prayer. Because the Bible says that it's only the spirit of God that understands the will of God. And the Spirit of God will only communicate to you when you engage the Spirit of God, even in prayer. When you engage God into fervent prayer, the Spirit of God will definitely minister to you and will speak to you. And when He speaks to you, He speaks to you the will of God because He understands the will of God. When you're just living your normal life, there is no way you'll understand the will of God. You'll just, you just, you'll just be there, being tossed to and fro by every kind of wind of Dr. Utatembea, Unazunguka Tru, Songa. But if you are Fervent in prayer and you're studying the word of God, you'll definitely understand the will of God. And when you understand the will of God, you will definitely live according to the will of God. Don't be drunk with wine. Hallelujah. Children of God, don't be drunk with wine. And let me tell you something that I, I drove, I, I drew, I mean, I drew from, from, from that scripture. It says, do not be drunk with wine. I understood that wine was used to, to, to be taken when people are marrying Marrying, having fun, enjoying life. That's why it's done in, 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 in a party. It's done in a, um, in a feast. People take wine. Jesus Christ changed water into... Uh, that is the, the, the phrase when you go to preach to, to drunkards. They will tell you, Jesus Christ changed water into wine. Why? Because Jesus Christ was in a feast. It was a wedding, eh? And then changed water. Wine is taken during ceremonies and feasts. And when do you hold ceremonies? You hold ceremonies when, you, when life is good and you want to enjoy. So this scripture tells us do not be drunk with wine. Basically, it's trying to emphasize to us that you do not really need to indulge into these comforts of the world. You do not need to, to give yourself into useless comforts like partying. Eh? Party after pa? After party. Eh? What else? 
moving in those, enjoying these kinds of life in this world. Yeah, the comforts, run, run, and this called in Kiswahili, anasa, za dunia. Instead, instead of uh, indulging ourselves into anasa za dunia, we need to seek to be filled by the Holy Spirit of God. Let me just read that scripture even as I finish in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, okay, so 5 verse 18. The Bible says, Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. So do not give yourself into pleasures of the world so much. Of course, enjoy what is good. We are living in the world, so we are not outside the world, we are in the world. So whatever is good here, let us enjoy. But be careful, do not give yourself so much into the things of this world, because it will only lead you to destruction. It will only lead you into doing what is evil. It will only lead you into doing what is evil. Instead, seek to be filled by the Spirit of God. Because when you are, when, when, when you are filled by the Spirit of God, you will live in righteousness. The Spirit of God will only lead you into doing what is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? Amen. I'm about to finish. Just a minute as I finish. As we, for, we, we forsake being drunk by wine, let us be filled by the Spirit of God. Verse 19 to the last verse 20, the Bible insists in our interactions. Our interactions as the children of God. Even here as we are in church, our interaction. That's why he says, uh, let me read it. Verse 19 to 20. Speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs of the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to, the, uh, to God the Father for everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, speaking to one another with psalms. Our interactions, the way we are here, how do we talk to one another? The Bible tells us we need to speak with one, to one another in a godly way, with godly interactions. Bless the people of God. There is a friend of mine who, whenever he calls me or we meet, the first greeting is not Niaje Bwana or a VP or whatever. He will tell me, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you too. Those are, you know, there's power in declarations. Whatever is said is created. So when somebody creates joy, that's why the Jews used to greet, them, uh, greet one another. Peace be with you. Shalom. That is important. The way we interact with one another is very important. Let us not speak to one another in a way that will distract the joy that is in our hearts. It's better just come and tell you, Shalom, peace be with you. Or how are you? God bless you. Before you leave somebody or before you leave one another, at least wish each other blessings. Blessings is a way, it is spoken actually. Blessing is actually spoken. And that's why he says, in Psalms and in hymns and in spiritual songs. All right, now let me talk to the youth for a moment. The songs that we listen to, we've insisted on these things so many times, but I wonder why it is still uh, so hard people to forego secular music. If you're still here and you enjoy, you enjoy listening to secular music, I want you to come here after this sermon for a prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't enjoy kusikia muziki ya wale watu wa dunia. As we stand on our feet, as I, as I finish in the name of Jesus, just rise on our feet. I'm done. If you still enjoy listening to secular music, then something is wrong. You need to again examine, re-examine your life. Bible says, sing to God, make music. Actually, it doesn't say sing. It says make music to the Lord from your heart. So that means each and every one of us who has been called by God, who is born again, you are able to sing to God your own music. You can speak to God in your own music. So Of course, we will sing the songs that are common, but you can also make, if you, the word of God blesses you, you can speak to God in a song, in your own composition. As long as you are speaking to, to God. Amen? Always giving thanks to him for everything, for everything, whether it's good or bad. Give thanks to God. That is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 to verse 20. 5 verse 20. And I believe you've learned. Those are instructions for godly living for Christians. Because when we are called as Christians, we are not just called to be there, but we are called to do good. Those things that I've mentioned that we're supposed to live, leave them. 
the things, amen. Even as I finish, and I mentioned before that maybe there's somebody who will need an altar call. Is there anyone of us here who would like to give his life to Jesus Christ? Okay. Let us close our eyes as we pray. Our Father, we want to thank you so much this morning for your word. We thank you for speaking to us uh, through your word and even instructing us unto godly living, instructing us to walk as true Christians, exhibiting the way of life that you have taught us, O oh God, for your people, that you, 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 your grace shall be sufficient upon them, teaching them to say no to every form of ungodliness and unrighteousness, and enabling them to walk in the light of your word, that may your word be a light to our path and a lamp to our feet. We thank you this morning because you're here with us, and we thank you because you're blessing us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And for you guys who are also giving online, um, the, baby, uh, the baby number is 522-522. For you guys who are giving online, uh, the number to give is 522-522. Account number is 12 70 76 27 53. Narudia. 12, 70, 76, 27, 53. All right. So thank you very much, guys. God bless you so much. We are very happy to see all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, we just want to bless the name of the Lord. We want to pray for the offering and uh, praise the name of the Lord. And then thereafter we'll finish our service in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you because of the giving of your people. Thank you because of your love. And thank you because of your Holy Spirit upon each one of us. Even, Lord, as we have given um, this offering to you, Lord, we pray that you receive it in the name of Jesus. May it be of a blessing in the kingdom and in your vineyard in Jesus' name. We receive it and we pray that you sanctify with your precious blood in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for blessing for them, all of them that have given love, Abba Father. The Bible says that blessed is the hand that gives and therefore, Lord, bless them because you are such a beautiful God worthy of all the glory and honor. Thank you for each one of us who have attended the service today. Lord, we pray for them, for your Holy Spirit to keep uh, uh, growing in them and to bring them closer to you more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, receive glory. This we pray trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. So God bless you so much. Asanteni sana. Mungu wa tende mima na wabariki. Kabla to share benediction. I just want you to sit for just one minute. Actually, I promise, one minute. Just sit. Kido go to. At this particular time, there's one friend of mine who has visited us for after like a time in Mikwaki to Timbele Komda and also have visited us today and I want to recognize her presence in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's put our hands together as we recognize the presence of Mama Mary. Look at someone uh, whether near or far away from you and also just smile at that person in Jesus' name. Amen. I know you attempted to shake the hand, but please do not shake the hand. Uh, just smile at that person in the name of Jesus. May God bless you when you are in your houses in Jesus' name. 
May God bless you when you are out of your houses in Jesus' name. People may forget you, but may God remember you. People may abandon you, but God will always be with you. Always may he open the ways and doors for you in the name of Jesus. May he open uh, um, your success.